hey guys this is Pratik uh, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my video and uh, wish you a very very happy new year ahead I hope you guys have enjoyed a lot last uh, last night on 31st and uh, and hope you all are safe and uh, uh, hope you all are safe and carrying a good health with you so uh, so today again I came back to my youtube channel to show you uh, to show you uh, some of the essential products that every photographer uh, have or people who are stepping into photography will have uh, they have they all they definitely have plans to buy um, okay so what I'm talking about is today I'm talking about uh, so these three uh, these three products you can uh, you can see so these are two UV filter and this is one of the uh, lens hood for my lens so as um, okay so all these three products are from the company name Omax and uh, I have bought this uh, all these three products from Amazon uh, okay um, at a discounted price uh, last week itself okay so before uh, uh, so uh, let's 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 get started so without wasting any further time let's get started and let me show you how the product is uh, how the finishing of the product and uh, what exactly i feel uh, in my hand with this products and uh, let me show you uh, how to fit in your camera if you are i'm sure many of you lot many of you know more than me how to do it and it is very easy there is nothing to show but still uh, let me uh, i have just i bought it so i will fit it in my camera so uh, while i fit it i'll share this uh, while i uh, put this uh, put these things on my camera i'll uh, share with you um, how I'm doing it and what do I feel after this okay so, so uh, let's get started okay. so as I have already shown that uh, so these are the products that I have bought so this is the uh, this is the lens hood okay I haven't uh, taken it out out of box okay so this is a lens hood for it's already uh, already written you can see it omex photo accessories lens hood for nikon afp 7300 mm lens this this lens hood is specific to uh, specific to nikon afp 7300 mm telephoto lens okay uh, so you cannot use this one for your uh, kit lens that is coming uh, coming with uh, coming uh, with your Nikon DSLR. Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, these are two uh, these are two UV filters. So you can see this is uh, so I will re I will tell you why I, I have to bought uh, these two UV filters. So one is for 55 mm lens, which is uh, so this is nothing but the diameter 55 and uh, 55 and 58 these are not the mm so these are the diameters of that particular lens so uh, well so one very important uh, important update why when you are going to buy a uv filter for your dslr make sure you uh, before you place the order you are checking this particular option that does it fit your camera uh, many of for I know for many of you who use a Canon DSLR are uh, the diameter for the uh, kit lens and the telephoto lens are same okay however uh, this is the thing uh, this is I came to know for Nikon uh, currently the kit lens and the uh, telephoto lens they are supplying the diameters are different so 55 and 55 uh, this this diameter 58 uh, sorry uh, so 18 to 55 mm lens has got the diameter of 55 and 70 to 300 mm lens has got the diameter of 58 
okay so make sure before you buy uh, before you buy the uh, uv filters or the end or any nd filters from online store you are checking the diameter i will shortly i will show you from where you can check uh, you don't have to uh, this is that is not a rocket science that you uh, that you cannot check it's very easy thing um, okay so uh, let's uh, let me show you how i would uh, fit this so let me take this out of the box first so i have already unboxed it from the packing that i have got so this is how you get the uh, this is how you get the device uh, not the device this is how you get the get this product uh, okay uh, right so uh, before i go further let me tell you it says uh, in the there is nothing inside the box it is blank you can see it okay there was only this two uh, two two boxes okay and it says omex premium quality digital filter made in india okay this products are made in india guys please note it down i urge you uh, i know in my last video i have shown a product that is from uh, that is a made in china product however um, i would love to use the products that are made and uh, made or assembled in india uh, so this particular product it clearly says that it's made in india you can see it here okay <coughs> so uh it says a product omax 55 mm uv filter quantity one piece mrp inclusive of all taxes rupees 440 manufactured date november 2017 and marketed by omax photographies new delhi's customer care uh, sales at omax omax camera care.com okay so this is for the 55 and for 58 also there is nothing inside the box okay and uh, there is nothing extra written anything on the box uh, so it's the same thing and uh, okay so let me tell you individually uh, individually the price that are mentioned here is for 55 mm it says 440 and 58 mm it says 450 so almost 900 10 rupees less than 900 for this two however i bought this two together at 499 from amazon okay i will i will give the link uh, uh, in the description you can check it or you can simply simply find uh, simply search for omex uv filter in amazon and you, you will get this products okay so these are these are the two product two products so one is for 58 but uh wait how do you identify which one so when it is out of the box how would you identify so uh, let me check that first okay so this is one of the uh, filter let me okay i have opened it wrong on a wrong side it should be upside down so this is the upside down oh, wait a minute yeah so this is the uv filter uh, i must say that it's uh, it's feeling kind of metal and it's little sticky the body is little sticky i don't know why it is that okay here yeah, yes how would you understand which uv filter fits in which lens so if you can see it is written here omax 58 mm uv okay it's uh, okay so this one is a 58 mm and obviously the other one is a 55 mm no came wrong okay let me do it in this way yes so this is the another uv filter this is this is just a clear glass you can see uh, okay okay so here it is so this is clear so one thing i would suggest that once you okay so there is a difference in the metal or something okay let me take both of them together okay uh, so this is little bigger obviously you can see uh, so this is the 55 58 and this is the 58 uh, 55 so you can see it right uh, 
so this is the smaller one and also to identify is uh, in the body uh, body of the uv filter it is clearly says that omex 55 mm uv okay so i hope you can see that okay otherwise when once you buy this kind this product you will see it is engraved in the body of the uh, body of the filter okay so uh, okay let me now close this so let me take this outside let me take it uh, not outside let me take it uh, on the side and the third thing is the um, this product omex lens suit for afp lens suit for nikon afp 7300 mm lens lens suit replace nikon hb 77 what is I'm not sure what is uh, why is this written that uh, lens hood replaces Nikon HB77. Um, there must be something. Okay, as well. Uh, so this product also, uh, it is not written anywhere that this is made in uh, made in India. Mm, okay, but uh, I can I can say that uh, it is. Uh, it was written here okay uh, you see mfg by omex photography something it is written so omex photography is some some stickers are uh, stickers put on it uh, so manufactured by omex photography this is a new delhi a new delhi address i cannot read out because there is a yeah, there is a Mm, uh, sticker on it so it says the product omex 7300 lens hood quantity one piece mrp 795 manufactured date october 2017 marketed by omex photographics new delhi okay so this product also says that this uh, this cost 795 rupees but let me tell you that i bought this out of 429 you might get more uh, you might get it uh, get some more discount during uh, uh, during this uh, sales and all but uh, when i bought it a week ago uh, the two uv filter and uh, two few uv filter cost me 499 and one this uh, omex lens hood cost me 429 okay so out of 900 bucks mm, mm, I got all this so let me take it so I have already taken it out there is nothing inside the box this comes like this okay so let me take up keep the box and the other side so, so it, is, it comes in plastic okay so there's nothing but it is a smooth plastic I would say can you see okay and uh, so this is how it is written here you can see that all right so let me assemble these things on my on my camera and uh, sorry on my lenses and uh, let me show you how i'm doing it okay so let me uh, let's do the So let's do the UV filters first. Okay, so here I have my Nikon camera. Okay, it's a D3400. Uh, I bought it. I bought it a few days. Not few days. It's uh, yeah, few days. I bought it uh, during my birthday. Okay. So this is a kit lens. Okay, so the one which is kind of already connected on my camera is a kit lens. Uh, I can show you one minute. So you can see uh, this is a 1855 kit lens. Okay, so it says uh, Nikon AFP Nikon 1855 mm one uh, 3.5 to 5.6 fix aperture uh, Nikon DXVR. Okay, let me put this back. Okay. So how do you fit this? How do you use? So first you have to take out the uh, lens cap. Okay. And uh, you have to take your 
uh, UV filter so this is the 55 this is the one which uh, says uh, 55 and uh, there is nothing you just have to uh, so how it goes like so there is a ring there is a clear demarcation when you put this on your hand you will see that uh, there is a that you can so you will put this in front of your lens and just rotate it there is nothing else you have to do so yeah it got tight enough okay so this is how you look and this is how it looks like now can you see this yeah this is how it looks like now okay so yeah and once you put this uv filter i personally uh, i'm not sure if others also uh, like to do that once you put the it's some recomm it's recommended once you just you once you put this uh, uv filter on the uv put your cap on the uv filter it is better it is always preferred to keep your uh, so even if you just put a uv filter it is uh, it is suggested and i have seen many uh, professional photographers they also keep it like this they put the uv filter first they put the uv filter on the lens and then they put the caps on the uv filter this is how you should keep it okay so similarly so this is my 1855 let me keep it aside and i have my uh, see this is my nikon dx 7300 uh, 7300 lens uh, so this is a 4.5 and 6.3 fix aperture not fix um, so the aperture range is 4.5 to 6.3 uh, for this so uh, I will not talk, talk about this 4.5 to 6.5 uh, for that I have to do a spare, different separate video so this is a telephoto lens from Nikon you get this uh, you get this together when you buy the Nikon D300 so you have got an option to buy it only with the kit lens or with the dual lens so if you buy it with a dual lens this is what you will get extra okay so separately if you are going to buy this guys i would say i would say that uh, this is just an add on information i'm giving you that uh, uh, if you want to buy this this particular lens separately then it will cost you somewhere around 15 to 20000 okay so if you buy the nikon uh, nikon d 3300 or 3400 with a kit lens uh, for 3300 i think it will cost you around 26 and uh, for 3400 it will cost you around 28 to 29 okay and um, for only with the kit lens but if you uh, if you buy the same thing with a dual lens it cost you uh, another 10000 say um, roughly I'm, I'm talking so for your um, uh, so for if you buy a d3400 which i bought together uh, it cost me around 38000 so 3400 will cost you around two uh, three thousand less 35000 so just understand so the lens alone is a 15000 this is a 15000 so uh, on and off you will get this lens uh, in the market on online uh, out of 15000 and uh, with dual you are getting this lens just with it with 10,000 rupees more so similarly so let's get back to the point and uh, what we did is um, so this is a uh, similar to 1855 you take out your cap you take your lens okay so there is a there is this uh, ring inside okay don't put this side this is the outer side so this is the outer side you will understand so can you see there is a uh, there is something out like this so you will put this so you will put this and you will rotate simple so no need to put any pressure or something like you have to so it's done so this is how it will look like okay so the end lens is protected if you put this uh, if you take it away okay this is how the lens look like looks like right okay now if you put this so understand take, just see look there look at the difference this is the lens uh, how it looks like and once you put this 
open my story. This is how it looks like. Okay, crystal clear and uh, your lens is protected from dust and it is as it is uv filter it will give you a better photography better image quality okay and as i said that uh, i prefer to keep the uh, cap on it so that's how i keep my cameras my camera uh, so these are you know very close to my heart i i so i have a bad habit uh, not a bad habit i would say uh, see i can see there is some sort of okay so i every day before i go to sleep uh, okay so one more product is left so I, I was telling that before i go to go to bed i at least once i take my camera out and i just uh, touch it uh, just go through it at, at least to the body of it that's how I love my camera okay so the third product is the uh, lens hood so how we will put it is like you put that inside okay so if you if you just if it is not according to so you know the lock system locking system right so see if I'm trying to put it is not at the right right uh, direction or right position so you have to rotate it so you can so how, how you'll do it you put this together you are not able to go okay right it is not fitting so first rotate it anti-clockwise you will come to a come to a point where it will get inside and then rotate it clockwise so first put this first put this go till the uh, till the level till the point you can you will find that it is not fitting up okay because it is not at the right uh, point so first uh, you rotate it anti clockwise to find the right point okay and then you find once you get the right point then rotate it clockwise and it is it is done this is how it looks like okay if you put it on a camera let me show you that okay so this is how it looks like now see this is how it looks like if you extend this is how it looks like so it go gives you a more uh, professional look and feeling and i would say that um, it's it's nice it's 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 a nice nice product i love this i love this product i'm not sure about others but it is cheap and definitely best cheap and best so this is the full range of the uh, Nikon D7300 um, uh, lens and this is the lens so let me take this out first once okay so without the without the hood now if I put this hood back this is how it looks like nice okay okay guys so that is it for today i hope you uh, like this video uh, if you if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you do not like this video please share your comment and what would you like me to add and uh, thank you very much for watching my videos 
uh, goodbye good night and uh, wish you a very happy new year again and do whatever you want do whatever you feel like just feel free just feel the freedom thank you bye bye